Hello, this is JC from Real and Simulated Wars. I'm here in DCS Supercarrier. I'm on the deck of the this new supercarrier. This is, uh, I believe, CVN 71 Theodore Roosevelt. I'm taxiing into catapult number two. I, you know, I'm not a big fan of uh, cold starts, so I didn't do it. So I'm just moving very, very, very slowly. And, uh, well, I received indications from the taxi director to spread my wings. You can do this now or you can do it later. You will get reminded. I have to tell you guys, I'm really very pleased with this, like, uh, Eagle Dynamics made up for a lot of time of disappointments and incomplete modules. What the heck? This is just beautiful. You know, you have an animated crew, you have a almost like 100% realistic carrier operations is really very very impressive this is, I've never seen something like this I'm going into the look at the indications are authentic and uh, the crew members are animated and they come and it is really a little responsive what is actually happening you see they run this spectacular choreography I'm asking now by the taxi director to put my uh, launch bar, he's going to step aside and uh, well there was a little of a shift there because my alignment was not perfect, I'm okay with that, I'm going okay to move forward a little bit and uh, you know move uh, above that little hump provided by the catapult, a bit more and a bit more and pretty soon we're going to be transitioning there we go stop from the taxi director and uh you see the catapult is already lift up uh the launch bar and now we go with the catapult officer rev up dude i'm gonna give my okay as soon as i know that everything is okay with the plane Looks like yes. So, last checks. I love that count that he does. Touch the deck, and boom! There we go. Cut pulled off. I apologize for the, you know, editing of these videos. Not my, you know, skill that I'm. I can count that I do have, but uh, I'm gonna try to do. Uh, well, actually, I'm not doing it here now that I'm seeing. I'm, I'm you know, commenting uh, of, of, from a, a recording of this uh, mission. So, uh, bear with me. It may not be as complete as you may want. Uh, uh, my case one departure was really very sucky. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to keep myself below the 500 feet mark and uh getting away uh now in retrospect i believe that uh the distance where i'm allowed to do what i'm doing now which is just to climb and you know complete my departure it is at seven miles i believe that the run like three miles short i apologize for that so this flight is going to be really very 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 simple you see that waypoint over there on my left MFD, it is waypoint number two. I'm gonna turn into it. Uh, I just this waypoint number two is around 14 miles from the carrier, which is moving. So I'm gonna tune in into the TACAN, and also I'm gonna uh, tune in into the ICLS, the different channels having added with the mission editor. So now I'm gonna you know, climb a little bit and uh, gain some speed. I don't have, I may have like a, uh, I don't remember if, was, if it was uh, 30 or 40% fuel. I didn't want to blow full tank because I knew that this mission was going to be short and I wanted to have some weapons on it. I believe I have uh, uh, Sparrows and uh, Side Wonders plus uh, two tanks, I do believe that. I don't want to focus on that. Let's turn on the radar. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to be 
uh, flying into uh, waypoint number two. The carrier should be to our right right now. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse to it. Ah, it's beautiful. You know, that wonderful feeling that you came from there and you have to go back. I, I, I love that. It's like a lot of immersion, even in the times when the supercarrier was not available. So this part of the flight is pretty dull. We're going to go to uh, waypoint number two. And, uh, well, just as soon as we get into waypoint number two, we're going to make our uh, landing our recovery uh, operation which is going to be a case one and I remember from the recording of this flight uh, we're pretty close now to waypoint number two so coming back to this up uh, this is a great addition people are going bananas about this I I do believe that you know this must be a lot of fun to do with a squadron or do it online Unfortunately, you know, because of my gaming uh, schedule, I cannot join any type of online community. I miss the times when I was young and I had a lot of time to game. Right now, you know, I have obligations and, uh, well, uh, just let me... So we're getting close, four miles right now to waypoint number two at waypoint number two we're going to turn back into the carrier and uh, that's uh, that's gonna be uh, we're going to complete the landing and offering you some views on how this uh, thing works I I am really very impressed I, I am I really like it I understand this you know if you're not a uh, carrier operations type of guy or if you don't own the main two airframes the FA-18 and the F-14 uh, probably is, you know not worth it to get no I'm, I'm sure it's not worth to get because you don't have the modules so you cannot get that but even if you have the FA-18 the 14 you may think that well you may not need it but uh, uh, the purpose of these videos uh, there are plenty of videos out there we cannot complain like you know uh, Eagle Dynamics have this this policy that you know they have their talking heads but um, you know uh, they are not in the payroll but they are not uh, you know I, I, I really don't I trust them because they usually give you a good perspective but they could be not very you know open to criticize uh, equal dynamics so for more myself I I really I have no contract with them I, I will really say it as I want it and uh, um, well, uh, I have to tell you that, you know, one of the main gripes that we do have with the FA-18 it is uh, that, uh, <laughs> well, that the ground radar that was supposed to be like uh, five years ago uh, is still not coming. Look at this. So I'm now uh, within the carrier control area, of course. The carrier control area is around 50 nautical miles. I am just... Uh, some uh, eight miles or something like that from the carrier so the traffic control is, is really is really great see I am giving it uh, my CU10 and uh, I'm going to try to enter uh, the holding st into the holding stack uh, I don't have any other flights going on right now so you will see how this thing works when you're not we don't have any um, type of flight before you they will just uh, give you the uh, the go it will give you your 
Now we have the tower. Oh, there we go. They gave me the Charlie, which is that we can enter our landing pattern. And uh, from the holding stack, I'm near in position number one, so I'm gonna enter the landing pattern right now, right here. I am an awful. You know, I I I, <laughs> I do awful recoveries, and uh, please don't watch this too much. I just want to show you how it looks, how it feels. So, let's go for it. Wow, really far away from the carrier right now. Extending flaps, hook, and landing gear. And uh, we're going to get into power, power. There is a um, 15 knots or for 12 knots, I believe, into this um, into this scenario. That's why the sea looks a bit uh, looks a bit uh, spiky. So I, I also, you will see that, uh, you know, I, I tend to extend a lot from the carrier just to give me enough room for the final phase of the recovery because I struggle with my throttle. It's like uh, all these that you are seeing right now, I'm barely touching the stick just throttle work of course I'm touching the stick right now for turning but um, you know it's very counterproductive to give it some pitch um, that's a view from the deck you see these guys are still moving it's not that they just stay like in other flight simulators which by the way I gave up I, I just bought the last version of oh my god prepare 3d what a total waste of money uh, I will probably be posting a video or something like that about that but uh, definitely not worth it and then from the carrier you can look at different positions this is the uh, LSO office and this blew my mind. Did you see that JC? That's the order for recovery. That's me. That's my you know call sign It is just amazing views that you can watch this and you are on the list like come on in Literally blew my mind and you see that the <laughs> that the LSO office has all the facilities that you could expect for it uh, just really very 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 nice and now that uh, red light that you see indicates that we are to the left that is the so-called long-range laser lineup system and then we have the floats which is oh my god that was yeah there is a 
unhealthy 13 pages discussion about this and how much people you know the realism police is like it's just a game guys just give it up it was gonna be you know you you can remove it you you see them on on the left that they have a flaws which in, is the, basically the ball so you can see it and I mean I am in my 50s almost in my 50s right now I I, I need that so zero, one, zero. why one, making one, such one, a fuss about that so I called the ball right now and uh, I have the insert view and I uh, just wanted to offer this view from the LSO uh, office or the station you see the cameras are there it is just a great job I really really like it uh, for this landing it was a horrible landing I, I believe I did uh, war number four or something like that it was just awful but never mind and uh, I was not um, you will see that uh, right now you can get a grade which is great I didn't get one because as you will see right here I didn't push the throttle forward that's basics of carrier landings that you have to have the throttle forward as soon as the weight hits them uh, hits the, the, the deck so I have the crew over there I'm gonna start taxing out so in conclusion absolutely delighted with this I hope that you find this video useful that you enjoyed it and uh, let me tell you if this thing doesn't get your juices running probably nothing will so in that spirit I'm off to fly some more <laughs> of this thing and uh, thank you very much Eagle Dynamics and uh, let's hope that I can do a video pretty pretty soon. Thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.